Hello and welcome back to another video. Today we keep things simple. No matter what you use your camera for, whether it's photo or video, today we're going to give you five reasons why you need a camera case. Number one, attach more gear. And I don't just mean quantity, but we'll get to that. If you're a filmmaker, you might find yourself wanting to attach a microphone alongside a monitor, or maybe even a video light, or any number of other things. This is what's going to help you do that. Thanks to the addition of several 3 8 holes, a load of quarter inch points, and an additional cold shoe, you can get ready to build your camera up to the biggest, most impractical size you can think of. Now, like I said, more doesn't actually just mean as many as you like. It opens up a whole new world of possibilities for accessories that you might not have been able to mount before. I'm talking about rail systems, I'm talking about NATO clamps, I'm talking about rosette clamps, and I'm talking about everything you can slap on them. I'm talking about map boxes, follow focuses, data solutions, battery solutions, the list goes on. You get the idea. This all brings us on to our second main point. Two, <laughs> mounting anywhere. As we've said already, on your DSLR or mirrorless camera, you've got normally a hot shoe, a quarter inch bolt on the bottom. With your cinema camera, not a great deal. With a cage, you've got all these glorious mounting possibilities. What was that I hear you ask? It looks goddamn sexy. Well, you're not wrong. That was the brand new cage for our A7S III. Where were we? Oh yes, so you can put your monitor here, here, or here. Pretty sweet, I'd say. Same goes for your microphone, your battery solution. You can pretty much put anything where your heart desires. Point three, ergonomics. Ergonomics is my personal favorite point. Um, having the ability to put grips and handles all over your camera to shoot your suiting style, it's, it's a glorious thing to be able to do. This may even be a simple top handle, which in of itself is a massive benefit when you're moving around a lot. But you can take this as far as you want. This here is George's A6300 with a little wooden grip. As you can see, clean, simple, effective, just makes that a little bit more comfortable. Point number four, and perhaps the most obvious, is protection. Having your camera in a cage will give you a big step up in safety and security than if it's just wandering around naked. The fifth and final point is it looks cool. It looks the part. It looks so much better having your little mirrorless camera built up rather than the same as Uncle Bob has it at the zoo on the weekend. But in all seriousness, there is a place for cameras looking more impressive, especially when you're working with a client. They'll feel more at ease, they'll feel like they're getting more of a professional service. And ultimately, even though it's the same camera, it does the same job, some of that kit may just be superfluous. It can make a difference sometimes. It's a sad world we live in. And on that bombshell, it's time to end. Thank you so much for watching and good night! <laughs> <laughs>